Welcome back to the Traders Network. I'm Michael Yorba, your host. Thanks for joining us. Broadcasting to you live from the Dallas KFXR 1190 AM Clear Channel Studios, streaming at iHeart as well as yorbamedia.com. All right, I'm joined on the uh, show with the next two segments, uh, John Blazier, President, CEO, Max Sound Corporation, M-A-X-D, the symbol. All right, uh, John, welcome back. How have you been? Great, great. I've, I've been doing fine. How have you been? All right, good, good. Things are really looking up here. Uh, John, if you could, it's been a, a little while since you've been on the show. Give our audience a little background on yourself, and then I'd certainly love to jump right into what Max D is. Sure, absolutely. Um, I, I basically have been uh, in the technology sector for over 25 years. I have uh, been a founder and uh, chairman and CEO of startup technology companies uh, that have uh, basically been drivers in industry. Uh, and uh, MaxD is, is basically a technology that, that restores all audio to HD quality audio. All right. Uh, how do people experience it, though? Because it's more it's it's almost like the, you are to for for television. Uh, you're the HD for for, uh, you know, for audio. Uh, that's right. I mean, that's exactly what we are. And and there's several ways you can experience Max D right now. Uh, one is if you have an Android phone and uh, you can go to the Google Play and uh, you can search for spins. HD, so it's S P I N S space HD, and up will come our our mobile HD audio player app, and you can download that app, and it will play all MP3 music on your device in Max D. And another way to do it is you can go to our website, which is MaxSound.com, and we have an area there where you can demo uh, the Max D experience from movies to music to games. Okay. And uh, we will be coming out with an app uh, shortly, and it will be coming out on iPhone. Okay, perfect. That, that's that's wonderful. I know all all the Mac and the uh, Apple users love to hear that because this this stuff is amazing. You have recently uh, moved forward with Acumen on a uh, licensing agreement. You mount, uh, excuse me, announced on uh, uh, May twenty eighth. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, you know this this is a this is a very exciting time for us. And this licensing really sets the table uh, to start moving in the direction of what I've been talking about, which is we truly are the first consumer audio brand. And, you know, we, we spent over a year with Qualcomm uh, porting over to their Snapdragon 8900 series chip. And, and we were in a market where, you know, we were dealing with some of the biggest players, as you can imagine, in, in producing smart devices and tablets. And, and basically, you know, our, our competitors uh, in the audio industry were, were paying di- getting paid dimes a chip uh, for an audio technology that were, were put forth on these devices. And, and this Acumen deal really sets the bar for us because we're, we're now moving into a space where we actually are going to have our logo on the phone itself, on the exterior of the phone. It's, it's going to be you know, very clear to the consumer that, that this phone is, is powered by Max D. And and on top of that, you know, we're 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 getting paid a, a licensing fee uh, that, that really is many, many times higher than, than what we would have seen in the industry uh, with the chips and Qualcomm. So it's a very exciting time for this. And, and and what's important to understand about this phone is imagine a phone the size right now of your normal Android phone. But imagine that you can display any size HD video screen up to 10 by 10 feet in 1920 by 1080p HD video from the device. And at the same time, you can now have all your audio in high definition, almost studio quality, lifelike audio from your phone. Imagine a device like that. And that device now is real. I actually am holding one in my hand while I talk to you. And if you want to learn more about this phone, you can go to acumen.com. It's A-K-Y-U-M-E-N.com. And this phone right now is going through certification in Asia. We expect the first launch to be in Q4. It'll be going through the Singtel carrier network, and it'll be available to up to 550 million subscribers initially. Uh, It will then go through certification here in the United States, and we expect orders Uh, in the U.S. late Q4, early Q1. So we're very excited about the Acumen contract. 
Wow, I'll bet you are. Uh, Give our audience a a flavor for the type of customers, the type of clients that you've already retained, and the different uh, the different industry industry sectors that are you know beating down your door to to get your product and uh, and use it. Okay, that's really that's a really good question. So uh, the first one I want to say is is that we're able now to you know, deliver an, a, a audio experience that normally you would have to ship a file 10 to 20 times higher in data content to receive that experience, which nowadays with the Internet constraints, it, it really is not feasible, and the cost also. So we're, we're now seeing traction with, you know, the major streaming services are now talking to us because now we're able to deliver an audio experience where they can ship a smaller file size than they are shipping right now, uh, and it gives the audio experience to the consumer in a file size that they ship 10 or 20 times larger, which they feasibly cannot ship. So we're, we're getting a lot of traction right now from streaming. On top of that, you know, we debuted a CES in January of this year in the automobile and basically proved to the world, uh, doing the Max D HD audio experience, that you now truly can have an audio upgrade in your car that is not hardware-based, that gives you an experience that you normally pay thousands of dollars for in a car. Uh, and, and so now we're, we're receiving traction from the auto industry, and we're in talks with those folks right now. Uh, you know, on top of that, you know, we're, we're seeing, you know, several other different entities coming and talking to us now. Um, we, we have had the movie industry now poised and ready in the post-production area to now use our MaxD boxes for movies, and we're, we're hoping to get those deployed to them in the near future. Can, can we take a peek into the technology that, that gives you this breakthrough experience? Sure. Well, the, the technology was invented by a gentleman named Lloyd Trammell, and uh, he actually is, is a partner here in the company and, and works every day with us. And he uh, started developing this product about 15 to 16 years ago when he, basically he noticed, you know, we had a degradation in audio quality when the MP3 came out. So... You know, this is a gentleman that uh, basically invented the first working surround sound system and sold it to Hughes, which became Hughes Audio, and then Hughes Audio sold off and became SRS. He also worked on a team that invented MIDI for Cord, which MIDI is still, a, you know, a digital audio recording experience, as we know today. And he's one of the top sound engineers and sound designers voted by his peers, top three or four in the world. So, you know, he does know audio, and he knows what it should sound like. And, and, and what he has done... Is, is he has built basically an algorithm that sees all of this data and says, I know what you are and I know where you belong. In real time, dynamically, it restores and replaces it exactly where it belongs and it reshapes and rebuilds the wave sign that was lost due to the compression. Wow. That's, is there anybody else that, that, that's coming close to you with this kind of technology? You know, we're, we're seeing uh, several companies out there that now are, are trying to do what we do. And, 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 here, and here's really, you know, the nuts and bolts of it all. When we apply the MaxD technology to any type of other audio experience, we absolutely make it sound better. So it doesn't matter who it is or what type of audio experience they've created. When we apply MaxD to it, we make it sound better. So obviously we're doing a better job. I, w- I would imagine you're, you're first and, and for- foremost in your industry sector. Hey, we're, we're about out of time on this segment. Is there, are there any events or, or, or ways that people can experience this online? Yeah, I mean, the way to experience online is just to go to maxsound.com right now. And you can go there, and there's, there's lots of demos that you can hear. And uh, if, you're, if you're going through a computer, you know, make sure you plug in some headphones or something like that so that you get uh, you know, a good audio experience because computers don't have a very good speakers in the first place. Are you going to be at any of these conventions coming up, any, any physical events that you're going to be at? Uh, you know, right now we're scheduling some financial conferences, and, and we're looking at uh, moving into some areas. Uh, right now, as far as we see, that uh, we know we will be at CES in January 2015 debuting the Acumen video phone. Wow. Uh, and, uh, and, and as we announce events, we'll put up our site and we'll issue PRs. All right. All right. Let's take a break, John, and we'll cover the uh, uh, VGL licensing agreement on the other side. All right. Okay. Thanks. All right. You're welcome. We'll be right back with John Blazier, President, CEO, Max Sound Corporation, symbol MAXD. We'll be right back. 
Welcome back to the Traders Network. I'm Michael Yorba, your host. Thanks for joining us, uh, broadcasting to you live on the Dallas KFXR 1190 AM Clear Channel Studios, streaming on iHeart as well as yorbamedia.com. All right, I'm joined on the show today with uh, John Bleasure. He is a president and CEO of Max Sound Corporation. John, welcome back to the segment. Thanks, Michael. My pleasure. All right, uh, now on May 29th, you had another licensing agreement, VGL. Tell us about that. That's right. We basically now have uh, the rights uh, to a compression technology that is supported by patents that are already issued that allow us to take 100% of data and ship it in 3% of the file size. Whoa. So... Imagine what that means. Yeah. I mean, I, did, I mean, just think about economies of scale globally on what I just said. Now, remember, these are patents that are issued. So this is not patent pending technology. This is issued patents. Right. And, and we're very excited about this acquisition because it, it just runs right down the road that we're going, which is about taking, you know, the highest quality of data whether it's audio, whether it's video, whether it's just standalone data, and being able to deliver it in a smaller size, wow. but at the end user, deliver 100%. Wow. You, you just knocked the bottom out of all the costs that are associated with producing, uh, uh, it, you know, audio files that come across, let's say the streaming this show on an audio file basis. They're not, it's not that big of a deal, but when you start taking uh, a, a 97% reduction in, um, in the file size and passing it through to the end user, you just locked out what a good 60 75 percent of the cost to uh, uh to, you know to stream a, a video show yeah that's correct i mean we 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 literally see this you know as a game changer for our company also and and uh you know it, it and, and and you know and, and we 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 see that um you know this this again it falls right in line with who we are and what we do and and uh, so you know we're we're very you know we're very excited right now about about this this agreement and uh, we we look forward to uh, having uh, some very positive results in the near future because of it. Have you had a chance to to work with any companies that that are using streaming technology so that they can uh, you know avail themselves of this great reduction in in cost? That's a that's about the biggest cost you've got out there is is when you've got the, the you know the audience pulling these streams down from you, you get to pay for it. Yeah, you know, and, and then again, uh, you know, we we uh, are under NDAs with, with uh, a handful of, of companies right now that, okay. are, that are, you know, in this business. And, and you know, I, I'll take you to a news article that came out uh, about a week ago about, uh, about Netflix talking about the problems they were having now uh, with being able to ship so much streaming content uh, and, and the problems they're having with the Internet. So it, it is a real problem, and, and as streaming video and streaming audio becomes more prevalent, and it, and it is, we're seeing yep. you know, streaming music and streaming video just growing at, at alarming rates right now. And, and so, you know, the, the Internet's finite. You know, it's, the pipe's only so big. Right. And so, you know, it, the, he who skins the cat is going to be the guy that figures out how to put more data in a smaller space, you know, faster down that pipe. And, and so, you know, this... You know this technology allows us to do that. Wow. Well, the um, let me let me drill down on that for a second on the technology side. If you're doing that, uh, are you also doing that with the streams that people use on their cell phones as well as with you know their laptop, their their, their desktop, things like that? Yes. <clears throat> yes. You know this 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 uh, you know video projection phone with Acumen is a perfect example of what that technology represents. Without that technology and those patents, this phone would not be able to do what it does. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. When, when are, I mean, I don't, hopefully I didn't miss this, but when is, when are those uh, um, phones going to be available for people? We, we expect the first ones to go out in Q4 of this year. Okay. And, and uh, again, we're, 
right now the acumen is going through certification in Asia, uh, and uh, you know all all new phones. That's what they have to go through, and and they're looking at about another sixty days of certification. So we should be ready for orders in uh, Q4, no later than Q4 for Asia. And again, that's with Singtel. Singtel is the largest carrier in Asia, and they have five hundred fifty million subscribers. So you know this phone truly. You know, when I pull it out of my pocket and push a button and put a 10 by 10 foot video screen on the wall, you know, people cannot believe it even while I'm doing it. I mean, it truly will be the must have phone for 2015. Oh, that, you know, that, that's the way to go because you can stream movies, stream shows, uh, and then the communication between people back and forth, that, that video content is going to come through without any chatter, without any packet drop. Uh, this this is gonna you're gonna revolutionize the way people watch television and film. Yeah, can you imagine? You know, just imagine your kids who now watch you know movies and videos you know on tablets or devices or on screens in the back seat of your phone. I mean, on the back seat of your car, car yeah. they can now project that anywhere they want with a the phone they carry in their pocket. And then imagine gamers with you know Bluetooth keyboards and and, and joysticks. They can now game anywhere they want. Imagine you and your friends, you could watch a football game, sit in a room and put, a, put the phone up and put up a big screen on the wall and watch a football game. Wow. Wow. There's, there's endless applications for this, and that, that's just scratching the surface. How big, tell our audience, give, give, a, give them an idea how big that, in dollars and cents wise, how big that market really is. Well, you know, we saw what iPhone did when it came out, yep. and, and it, it took over the market. And we still know that, you know, iPhone carries about a 45 to 50% market share here in the United States. But we also know that Android has been carving into that space globally and here in the United States. So, you know, we see that this device literally is going to have the demand that possibly an iPhone had in the very beginning because it's just so unique uh, and, and that people will, will want it. And everybody that I show it to, I mean, they literally, uh, they say, how do I get that? You know, just like our audio, you know, where do I get that? So, you know, we see this this uh, having high demand. Uh, we see millions and millions of units going out uh, on the first launches, uh, and we see them just trying to keep up with supply and demand right now. So, where, where I mean, let's answer the question: when, when this comes out, are you going to have? Uh, I mean, do you have to buy it online, or is it going to have it in stores? Or tell tell us if you yeah, can. I mean, if you can, yeah. Basically, you'll be buying it through the carriers. Okay. Yeah, you'll be going into their stores, and imagine you walk into a cellular phone store, and there's a phone over here that's the same size as the other one you're looking at, and it's, you know, basically has the same features. It's got 64 gigabytes of memory, 2 gigabytes of RAM, but, but it has two SIMs, which means you can have two phone numbers simultaneously on the phone working at the same time, okay? It's got an 8 megapixel uh, camera. It's got a 2.8 aperture, which means it'll take a much more vivid picture, whether it's video or standalone, and it basically has about 10 hours of talk time, and you can play a three-hour movie on the existing battery that's on the phone. Whoa, wait a minute. That's a breakthrough. A three-hour movie on your cell phone. That's correct. That's correct. And, and literally because of the Bluetooth capabilities now the speakers, you can literally create a full home theater experience and Bluetooth it to a speaker bar. You know, Bluetooth, Bluetooth it to a smaller speaker, and the next thing you know, you've got a full max D HD audio experience along with a full HD video experience up to a 10 by 10 screen. And imagine the screen can go as small as you, as you want. You can do a 4 by 4 inch screen, or you can go 10 by 10 feet. Wow. Wow. That is just amazing. You're going to run, this is, this is breakthrough technology. I just, uh, I, I'm just speechless of what, of what you, you've done. Oh my gosh! All right, uh, we're we are about out of time, and uh, I, I know that all of the you know the audience is going to definitely want to get their hands on uh, uh, your phone. Acumen is the name of it. Fourth quarter, you said. Fourth quarter. That's correct. Wow. All right. Contact information so people can find out more about this, and please put me on the list. Sure, and you know you can go to maxsound.com and and obviously experience demos and, and latest news about us. And you can also go to Acumen again, a k y u m e n dot com, and you can lo learn more about this amazing phone. Wow, John, thanks so much. I, I'm just so so pleased that you've 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 solved this through the the VGL licensing agreement and the Acumen agreement. Just keep doing, keep the good work up, man. 
Thank you. Thank you so much. My pleasure. John Blazier, President, CEO, Max Sound Corporation. MAXD is the stock symbol and maxsound.com and Acumen, A-K-Y-U-M-E-N. And special thanks to Monk Media and 1-800-PUBLIC RELATIONS for all their media, publicrelations.com, excuse me, for all their media and PR support. We'll be back again at 2 o'clock for market updates.